What's up guys, I'm Doubles back again with a brand new video. Today, I want to do Arcane Gunslinger and I'm super hyped to do it. I'll tell you more about it when we start the video, but it's going to be a gunslinging Arcane build, utilizing a combination of Arcane Mage and Hunter abilities overall. So I hope you guys enjoy the video. Let's jump right in. Okay guys, so what's going on with this video? Well, first and foremost, I went ahead and did a very quick 1 to 70 group all the way to max where I was trying to get a very, very perfect arcane gunslinger build. I also just want to say as a side point because uh, I was looking through these clips as I was, you know, editing it, and I was like, holy crap, you did try something different here. I think it's worthy of being brought up. So in my 1 to 70, I went for the very first time for the brand new Amalthazad's Curse or some people are also using Unbounded Spell Slinger. You can see it right here, basic concept kind of the same stuff more procs on your abilities and I was using these with arcane explosion for my 1 to 70 run now some of you guys might have noticed me pointing this out in previous videos it's relatively new when it comes to the mainstream meta the normal way people played was fan of knives but they nerfed it they nerfed it by making it to where after you use fan of knives every consecutive fan of knives stacking up to 10 times will cost more energy so it's way less good than it used to be but it still gets the job done mostly if you have a lot of swaps here's what I think is unique about this this one though. Sure, if you want to play in a Malthazad's Curse or Unbounded Spell Slinger Arcane Explosion 1 to 70 build, you'll notice right off the bat uh, you're going to have to card Arcane Explosion and you'll get it at level 14, which knocks you out of one ability that otherwise could have been put towards something you actually want at max. But I think the build is just better in every single way because it plays more like the original Fan of Knives build before it was nerfed, in that you literally don't have mana problems. That's why I like a Malthazad's Curse compared to the other version, but you can do whatever you want. I didn't have any mana problems in my run though. I noticed that all I had to do was spam W for a arcane explosion the entire run And I was able to literally actually do good DPS actually compete with people who are really try hard And that made me happy because I was thinking to myself That's how strong this build is like I don't even have to put really almost any effort in I did have swaps. They were not high quality though. They were just normal I really thought this would be a good build to try this on too because I don't need to guarantee that many things with a skill card And you'll notice that we ended up getting what we need Needed, even if it didn't always seem like it was in our favor as I continue to explain it But I did just want to say that we did try a Malthazad's curse arcane explosion And my thoughts are that taking a skill card away for it is not actually that bad depending on the build uh, Number two it has less setup less money required to be good at it less thought process going into it with talent points Compared to its uh, predecessor or equal you could say being fan of knives and uh, again It's just easy to play. I highly recommend you guys try it if you're making a caster and doing one to seven because it was just that good and brain dead and I liked it for my 1 to 70s. Listen, if my run's gonna be one hour, I don't want to think during that hour. You've already told me that because we're doing a one hour run that we're not really playing World of Warcraft, right? We're just playing some weird mobile game that looks like World of Warcraft until we get to max and then we actually play World of Warcraft. So I was happy that this build allowed me to just get through that easily and in a fun way. So just a little quick side note, but back into the original explanation. This is gonna be a build that focuses on spells like Arcane Shot, Aim shot, which transforms into something known as Arcane Bullet, Arcane Barrage, an instant cast arcane spell from the Arcane Mage Tree, Arcane Missiles, and I think that's self explanatory, and then hopefully maybe things like Black Arrow, Serpent Sting, Multi Shot Volley, stuff like that as well. Now, as you can now see on our fully fleshed out character, the Agi character that we've been progressing on from the beginning of TBC, I did in fact land the perfect build. I want to talk to you guys a little bit about the spells I have today, showcase it, and see if we can make some progress. As you can see down here, Arcane Shot, Arcane Bullet, Arcane Barrage, Serpent Sting, Arcane Missiles, Multi Shot, and Volley with the Black Arrow, which could be overkill, all basically obviously guaranteed because I have them already. And I've also got Arcane Power. One thing I do want to say before we go further though, you know I have this pink Alec. I mentioned it in a previous video. Tell me where I got this from. I don't actually know where I got it from. I'm very confused. Okay, so anyway, I want to show you guys before we talk about any of the enchants, any of the setup for this build, how this build plays. So here's how it goes. I Arcane Shot and then we're going to go for the Arcane Bullet. Now, if I get a proc like this, I want to get that off as well so we can do that. All right, let's set ourselves up. Black Arrow is awkward. Maybe should have done that first. Serpent Sting as well, but I'm just displaying the main interesting things, which is the proc right here. You can see when it procs, it's not just an Arcane Missiles. Let me make that proc one more time. If I make the Arcane Missiles proc, you can see it right here. Notice I'm shooting arcane shots at the same time that I'm using arcane missiles. That's what this build does. It procs a missile barrage arcane missiles, more on that later, and uh, shoots arcane shots out of your ass. 
for big, big damage. And I think it's bugged right now. You guys keep telling me it's bugged right now in terms of damage numbers. Luckily, we don't always care about damage numbers on this channel. We care about fun and themes and doing different things and theory crafting. And that's what we can do today with this build. So you see how it plays, but how do we make that work? Well, I've got my beautiful dwarf character with the beautiful spectacles and the beautiful gun pickup from the last video. Huge. That gives us a perfect amount of PvE power to continue progressing. On all of this beautiful gear, I have enchanted it with the following enchants. Arc Aim Concentration, which I've spoken a lot about in previous videos. Uh, talked about it specifically in Archer videos I've made. They uh, basically just created this in the last few months, and it 100% fixes the mana problems of this build. This build has existed before this enchant existed, and that's the thing. Arcane Shot, 30% chance to trigger Arcane Concentration, which is like a clear casting effect. When you consume this, you also get Arcane Aiming, causing your next three damaging hunter shots to do more arcane damage, but also restore 3% of your max mana. So, we've also got 6% more crit with arcane shot, 36% of my bonus spell damage going towards my arcane shot as well, so a little bit of a weird hybrid caster type, right? I do have 1200 SP, so we're getting 30 something percent of that put towards arcane shot with Secret of the Far Striders. Same concept here, versatile power, I've talked about this in previous videos where we did play archer builds. Exposed weakness, which typically gives you uh, some portion of your agility as AP, now gives you spell damage as well as attack power, but it gives you a huge amount 66 times three big i'm gonna skip the legendary for a moment we'll go over it in a little bit but uh, ferocious inspiration 15 percent more arcane shot damage you might be noticing a theme arcane shot is king trick shots which you might think what the hell it says does not work with arcane bullet but read the rest when you multi-shot and it hits three or more targets my next arcane shot ricochets and hits up to five targets and not for less damage dude for more 20 percent more damage that's what's going to help us be a little bit more well-rounded arcane infusion arcane shot has a 20 percent increased chance to trigger missile barrage if known that's going to be what procs arcane missiles that's really strong i have two percent hit as well until we can get more of that with our gear so that's quite nice now we get to la piste de resistance arcane gunslinger this is what makes the build and i like this because every archer build we've played so far has had some kind of like dwarfy gun kind of theme right combusting shots fire look at this i have freaking five different what would you even call this like uh this is freaking sick it has five little barrels there we go five barrels to shoot bullets from or pellets or something and uh yeah it's totally for a cool combusting shots build or for an arcane gunslinger itself so what am i doing well as i've already alluded to arcane gunslinger says aim shot is transformed into a new spell that spell is called arcane bullet it now does massive arcane damage but has an increased cooldown arcane missiles will reduce the active cooldown of arcane bullet by three seconds and so you can already see i want to use arcane missiles every single time it procs and then arcane shot and arcane bullet basically whenever i can and uh more on the uh barrage part of it in a second so it says missile barrage allows you to weave shot and spell firing a barrage of lesser arcane shots with every arcane missile and we saw that arcane shot increases the damage your target takes from arcane barrage by 15 percent but it actually stacks up to four times so this goes to 60 percent more damage and arcane bullet 75 percent times four which is 300 percent more damage and so you can already see just using arcane shot makes arcane barrage and bullet do a lot more damage especially the bullet now to round this all off auto shot and arcane shot give me a stack of arcane gunslinger granting arcane barrage 15% more damage and an additional 25% chance to trigger missile barrage. That's why maybe you noticed during my rotation there, but if I didn't get the proc off the arcane shot, I certainly would have got it off the arcane barrage and that's really nice for consistency. So more damage, more chance to proc and uh, this goes up to four times as well. So it's up to 60% more damage, 100% chance to proc uh, and also triggering missile barrage resets all of these stacks. So the idea is to build these stacks and then let them go. But the way I've seen that it actually plays out is that you just spam arcane shot arcane bullet arcane barrage after your initial you know array of abilities and arcane missiles on cooldown the black arrow is a little awkward with this build you really don't even care to use it but theoretically it is more arcane bullet i think because it used to be an aim shot so it used to be a shot but at the very bare minimum it's more arcane shot and occasionally multi-shot damage potentially more arcane shot damage off the proc off arcane missiles but we don't go hard into it still a 30 second
second cooldown, 15 second duration. Serpent Sting, I actually think that's definitely worth using. It's just extra damage. It's super free. I think you guys are going to really enjoy it because honestly, uh, it's been a long time coming, but I think this build's really fun and super easy to play. Before we do anything else, I will flash my talents. Of course, I'll put the build in my Discord. You can iterate on it, make it, you know, your own. Uh, I think it's standard because I've learned a lot about how to play archer builds and uh, so I've increased my shot damage as much as I can. I have no mana problems, so I have no real reason, I think, for Thrill of the Hunt, but we might learn. Sniper training, of course, I'm, you know, pretty bad about it, but we'll be good about it. We'll try our best. Uh, that's going to be more shot damage. Everything with Arcane Shot, anything with Crit. Uh, I did get lucky with things like True Shot. I got even luckier, as you can see up here, with things like Rampage, 5% more range crit. So we've actually got a lot of good things going for us. It's 46.5% baseline crit, and that's going to go up in uh, 2200 ranged AP. Okay, guys, uh, just a random quick two chest just to see if we can get any progression upgrades. Just to start the video off, right? Let's go Agi for this one. Okay, shoulders, Agi for that one. Chest, let's see, do we get any upgrades? Mantle of Shadowy Embrace. Overall, I think this is not an upgrade. I think I do want to go for the whole Enhancement Shaman Hunter setup with the male stuff, Intellect Agi. And then we have Waste Walker Tunic, which also was a straight downgrade. Holy Yikes. crap, that's unlucky. Wow. Okay, <laughs> God, good way to start the video, McDoubles, man. But I did want to point out something I learned. I had some mana problems, and I'm not really too sure why. I thought I should have no mana problems, so this might be something we have to try to solve. Uh, we'll figure it out in a second, though. All right, guys, I've been thinking about the build since I showed it to you. I think that we're going to go and try a few different talents. The first one, and really only one worth mentioning right now, is going to be Thrill of the Hunt, and I alluded to that earlier as well. 100% chance to regain 40% of the mana cost of my Arcane Shot and stuff like that, and if it crits, to refund one second of the cooldown of both my Arcane Shot, Multi Shots, and Aim Shot which sounds pretty cool. It could just be the case that with more uh, better itemized gear, let's just say, and also being in a raid where you have plenty of buffs that could affect your mana on mana regen, uh, that it actually fixes itself. But for like solo play in my dungeons, I do just want to make sure I'm good, right? Now, as I'm talking about this, we are actually on our way to Karazhan. Now, the fact of the matter is, with SSC out, you no longer have to get the attunement for Karazhan to do the Ascended version, so that's something we might try. Uh, but also, there is a, I believe, reputation vendor outside of the raid instance for the Violet Eye. I'm actually revered with them, and I think I can actually get- I just got off my mountain, drank a potion, freaking mouse buttons, dude. Uh, I think that we can get really good bullets from this guy. Bullets that will far exceed the potential of the Iron Bite shell that I currently have on. And uh, hopefully that leads to a bit of a DPS increase as well. So I do have the slow fall, so I guess we just jump, right? We just jump right here and hope that everything goes okay. And I think we're going to land literally perfectly right outside of Karazhan. Let's just uh, take it off right here. Yeah, I was right, guys. Uh, we have the vendor right here, Apprentice Darius. And he has the Mysterious Shell. Huge upgrade. 14 more DPS on this compared to what I've got on. I'm just going to stock up on like as many of these as I can. I've actually never had epic bullets before on Ascension. It looks beautiful in my bags, guys. Like, actually beautiful. Okay, I think that's enough bullets, right? We could probably stop right there. Okay, so we are set in that regard. So I'm just killing some of these random mobs, and the build just plays really, really well. That's the thing, like, if you don't only look at BGs, if you don't only look at dungeons, you just look at the open world, uh, everything feels better, actually. So I'm killing these guys, things are dying in one hit. These are level 70 mobs. Not elites, luckily, but uh, still dying in one hit, which is pretty freaking sick. So that feels smooth right off the bat. I just feel very powerful, right? I do feel like they've nailed the concept of the arcane gunslinger. Uh, it's a really interesting interesting theme, right? Like, that's actually a class I would like to see fleshed out, to be honest. It's a really cool class archetype, and uh, especially if you could do pistols or something like that, or just, like, restrict it to guns. Uh, but yeah, it's just really nice the way this looks. Everything has the right color scheme. You know, we're looking at things like Arcane Bullet right off the bat. It's so freaking thematic, right? They could have kept it as aim shot, you know, uh, but they went that full route, I guess, of, you know, transforming it, giving it a new name and a new icon and uh, new effects. And you can see it right here, by the way, Arcane Bullet. It's basically like an arcane shot. So I guess that's the only part of it that's a little bit more normal. Because you can see, like, that's an arcane shot right here. Basically, same thing. Then you have the uh, big old arcane barrage. You have the procs like this. Uh, it's pretty sick. Okay, right now I'm looking for more M plus to do. But, uh, yeah, it, there's a lot less right now. People are definitely in a little bit of a downturn right now as they wait for more updates. Season 8, Koa, stuff like that. But we'll keep looking and we'll see if we can find something. Okay, guys, this is going to be a plus 3 Blood Furnace Mythic. Uh, let's see how the build does. But more importantly, how it plays. And let's see if we get any loot. Okay, guys, a bit of a mosh posh spec now. Just always trying different talents. It's not that much different. 
different, but we'll go into it later on. We'll see what we end up with. Let's see how we do, though. No sniper for this one, because I have a suspicion that these guys want to go fast. If they want to go fast, I can't be staying still very often, so it's a lot less good, I feel like, for Mythic Plus sometimes. Okay, multi-shot into the arcane shot, so we're getting the ricochet off. I could go for the volley. I wonder if that's actually any good. So one of the problems I'm definitely having right now with the build is the fact that I didn't roll absolutely perfectly, because even though I got everything I needed to actually play the build, I didn't get the rock fighter support, don't have the poisons either, that's a lot of DPS missing for single targets, and just in general, I would say. Now, in terms of how the build feels, it feels really fun to play. That's the thing that sucks most, because I'm definitely not pumping. But going for the multi-shot into the arcane power, go for the volley on like a pull like this, and uh, you can see the damage is not wonderful, but it's still fun. I'm shooting arrows from the sky. They're little arcane looking arrows as well, but it's obviously better to go back for the multi-shot, go back for that arcane shot, and uh, yeah, then not get one shot, right? Okay, so so far the build feels super balanced. It's fun to play. I really, really like it, and I do think it has a relatively high skill cap until you start applying the weak RS stuff. So, for example, I made a uh, weak RS for Arcane Barrage when I have at least, I believe, greater than three stacks. Uh, basically, what happens there is that you're going to get the most bang for your buck when uh, you get at least over three stacks, and your Arcane Barrage will do more damage, have a higher chance of proccing the Missile Barrage, and that seems to be pretty good. In terms of damage, though, it's not really too hot right now. And I've noticed that with all the Archer builds, that's been a thing. I actually think for the next video, we might actually forego Archer for a hot second. Uh, let me know what you think about that in the comments section. I think I want to go back to my strength character. It's been a long time, uh, but there's a lot of really cool weapons we could possibly get, and uh, I just itch for like an old school melee build, dude. I really want to play that. Maybe even some more PvP as well. So that's kind of what I'm thinking about for the next episode. The only other archer build I could see myself playing is Compound Power again. I've seen a lot of people after the buffs using that new Chimera shot uh, and just dominating with the combo point archer that we made a video on a few weeks back before it got buffed, you know? So I see that definitely being on the radar for the Agi character, but I think I want to break out of the Agi mold, to be honest with you. But yeah, I'm really feeling strength builds, guys. Big old 2H weapon in my hands. Like, that's what I really want. That's what I yearn for. That's the archetype I want to play the most when I play an MMO. A giant 2H wielding badass, or maybe even the solid kind of like quiet type, right? The pally, the rat pally. I don't really care. I just like the big old weapon. 14k crit right there, by the way. But at least we're competing. At least we're there. At least we're not in dead last the entire time. At least we can come in second, you know what I mean? Nice, there we go. I think this is a two chest, guys. People are already in item level 140 stuff, guys. 140 plus. Like, holy crap. The gear gap in TBC is so much worse than vanilla. I it, it just don't think it's even comparable. When I was in Nax gear, I felt, sure, I felt stronger than when I was in AQ gear for sure. But there's just already been something about just going from Measly, Rules Lair, and Magtheridons up to SSC and beyond. Uh, not even talking about the Ascended gear you could get from something like Gruul's Lair, which will be like, for example, take a look at this. My Dragon Spine Trophy Heroic is 132, but I believe the Ascended version's either like 140 or 141 or something like that. One thing I really hope they do with Season 8 is uh, fix that somehow. The PvE stuff doesn't bother me as much, although I do believe that WoW was at its best when the gear gap was not as ridiculous between uh, different raids, I would say, raid tiers. But the PvP is definitely at its best in WoW when gear is at a minimum. That is definitely true. So that's what I'm literally looking for for Season 8. One thing I will say, uh, just as like a little in thing, because I am in the Wrath beta, and uh, for the Discord, they've been more active in the Wrath beta Discord. So I wonder if that's Season 8. I wonder if they're going to surprise us. Hold on, guys. Let's go ahead and finish this boss, and then I'll actually finish what I was saying. I got off track for a moment. I wanted to actually focus. Okay, going for the uh, Arcane Bullet into the Arcane Shot. Big crits right there. Got the proc. Gonna go ahead and disengage off that. Black Arrow. I think I don't get hurt here, right? You do. How far back do you have to go? I guess it's way farther back than that. I thought you could just outrange it, like right outside of this main inner circle. Okay, going for uh, the proc. Remember all the arcane shots coming from the arcane missiles. Wow, not even that far back. Does it matter at all? <laughs> it doesn't matter. I guess it doesn't matter that much at all. Nice, we did it. But we did not two chest it. That's the saddest crap in the world. Dude, we were like one second off, man. Holy crap, dude. 
Look at them. They're so upset, man. Well, I did get a mythical keystone cash. Mechanar crap. That sucks. Okay. Leggings of assassination. No, I can't. This is my one of my best pieces of gear, guys, is the Rift Stalker leggings. All right. So we didn't get anything, but the build was fun to play. I got to say. So what I was basically talking about before we had to finish up that boss is simply this. If you look at the timeline on the Ascension website for uh, TBC, you can scroll all the way up, right? You can see the dates right here, just barely in the small text. And Serpent Shrine Cavern was 820 2022. We're talking August 20th, 2022, right? Uh, arena season nobody cares about. Moving on down, uh, we have Mythic 11 to 20. Well, that's good. That's not really that much of a difference, right? But that's going to be coming out in four days from now. Going on down, Tempest Keep is literally one month from now before I can kill Kael'thas. Now, this is actually going to be a fun one, so I'm pretty much excited for that. However, this is also going to be landing around the time of Wrath Classic. So, uh, at least I'll have something to do alongside Wrath Classic, which is nice, but uh, it just gives you an idea of the gap, right? And then they don't even tell you when Zolomon, Hyjal Summit, there's actually a lot more in TBC that's like low key like these two, right? Uh, and then we have Black Temple, and then we have Sunwell. We don't know when these are coming. So what is my suspicion, you might be wondering? Season 8, in my opinion, will probably be the season that has these raids. They have done this before, where they broke up uh, huge changes into one expansion, and even released another server that then restarted. They might do that, to be honest with you guys, even if it's just a temporary one. The Malganus experiment, I think, was a success, just to say that, right? And that was like three months, right? Maybe it was six, can't remember. But it was like a short period of time where everybody was on the same server and we all knew it was temporary and it worked but my point is i think that could be it so i think we might be seeing season eight a month and a half plus from now two months from now right just a weird conspiracy my only other idea is that they're saving it for wrath but if that's the case we could be in season seven guys until like january or february which is something. Let me know in the comments what you think about that. Okay, so one of the things I'm trying now is raw power. So I wanted to go more agi based and now I'm taking some talents. I'll put it up on the screen now that I uh, increase my critical strike damage by 100% and it might actually help me with my mana as well. One thing I'm noticing is that single target on this dummy, this one talent choice has increased my damage exponentially. This means I think I overlooked something, which is that arcane bullet I think actually counts as spell damage. And so I think it is scaling with the 100% increased crit from uh, those talents. I did not know that. Uh, there was nothing to me that was implicitly saying that that's what it was. But uh, hey, maybe I just didn't really look at it hard enough. So 7,500 DPS now is actually exciting considering this newfound knowledge and uh, it being the sole thing that has increased my DPS in many ways. So I am back to the sniper training when it comes to this type of stuff, but I am still kind of standing by like that in Mythic Plus if you do plan to go fast. When is this even staying? Maybe if the boss fights are long enough, but I feel like if your group is actually doing enough DPS to where you're going from pull to pull super duper fast anyway, you're probably also destroying the boss really fast. I don't know. Uh, maybe you just keep it anyway. No more thrill of the hunt for this version though, because I thought raw power in the arcane mage tree with its 1% uh, of my total mana restored uh, whenever I go below 50% and it taps into that raw power might actually be good, might actually be enough. 10% more magic damage, 5% more arcane damage. It's just damage in this regard, not just spell damage. Really Really, really interesting guys i mean let's see arcane bullet wow 90,000 damage so yeah that one talent made the biggest difference in the world guys you really can't fit everything that you want like i'm actually wondering like do i want exposed weakness probably i probably want to be greedy but i could take it out and get nine percent more arcane damage you know you look at this and you think is that worth it it's arcane shot specifically it's like that's 11 percent maybe maybe not i do want to try this build though in actual you know play let's just say a dungeon a raid whatever we can get into with this newfound knowledge and the better dps obviously this is huge i just wish volley was a little bit better let me show you guys my aoe rotation remember this is peak performance with these dummies because there's so many of them stacked up and if i were to pop my cooldowns and multi-shot go straight for that arcane shot and straight for that volley you're gonna start seeing where we peak right and i've seen people do quadruple this by the way quadruple this aoe uh, so this is not what you think, but if I just go for the simple multi-shot, arcane shot, volley, multi-shot, arcane shot, volley combo, that's about 10, 11, maybe 12k on a good day, right? And it's just not, you know, a wow factor. It's good enough, you know, if you're doing 10k DPS AoE, people are like, oh, okay, fine, cool, that's great. We're probably going to three chest this, uh, if that's what you're doing and you're also still pumping single target, but... 
a lot of AoE builds are doing that part better. That's why I say it's a very balanced build. It's kind of more of a jack of all trades right now. But again, could be some scaling issues that people are mentioning as well. Luckily though, discovering this one talent difference has made a world of difference in the actual efficacy of the build. All right, guys, plus one slabs. Let's see how much DPS we do with the new build. Okay, so if I have time to DPS, I actually do start to slap. I think the problem is that these pulls are typically not slow enough. That's so weird, right? We're feared and I can see myself in second place which I'll take. Okay, second place that time, totally fine. DPS is definitely a lot better than it was before. Now, one thing I can say is I don't have mana problems anymore. So spell power is actually really good for that. Okay, so this is like a mega pull and what our DPS would look like with this build. I'm actually in second for AoE right now, which is just making me feel good. That's not like pretty normal with this build. So it gets really easy to play though, guys. I will say that much. Again, it's another one of those builds that if you don't play with weak auras, it's like you're all over the place really hard in my opinion. Um, but if you do have weak auras and you have the glow effects on everything, basically ends up playing itself. Okay, so far so good. Okay, that's the boss. Second place. I'll take it. Okay, not too bad at the end there. And uh, unfortunately, it was... God, why does this keep happening to me? A1 chest. Do we get loot? Dude, what is it with giving me legs that are just bad? Like, why? So guys, after those dungeons and things, I thought, let's just try PvP. Let's just try. Nothing for PvP on, right? No PvP gear or anything. Let's queue for a 1v1. Let's see who we go up against and let's see how we do. I really expected it to be a joke, but I was really surprised by the damage and the results. I just want to show it to you guys. Okay, so we two chested a plus two Architraz. I'll take it. Uh, I did get two items from it, obviously. The Boots of the Unjust. I like this, guys. 15 hit rating, very much needed. Even if I don't want to replace the boots I'm using right now for this build, for a future build, this could be a really good item, so I'm going to keep that. And Bracers of Finesse, which sadly I don't think is as good as my Stalker's Warbands, but we did get one item! It's a swappy kind of thing, but hey, we got something usable. Okay, the group I'm with, they guessed that I was McDoubles, man. Can't, you know, wear the same clothes from the last video, dude. Okay, so we've got a proc right here. I want to see if maybe... We could three chest this, but um, I don't know if it's going to happen. I'll take a two chest. I'd really just like to get one more upgrade. Maybe a cape, you know, maybe a weapon, any weapon, basically. All right, so we have a proc right here as well. Arcane bullet. I've hit 20k arcane bullets now, which is interesting to say the very least. It does take a little bit of setup, obviously. Okay, we're making pretty good time. We're at the first boss right now. 11 minutes later. Okay, just three chested the plus one, and uh, I got something for once. Sun Gilded Shoulder Caps M1, 121 item level, uh, but I like the stats more. 17 hit rating, still has a bunch of agi, also has AP. Uh, I think that's pretty good. I want to go for that. I think we're also setting ourselves up to have a pretty good like dual wield spec in the future as well with some of this hit rating gear, but I'm going to go ahead and enchant this and we're going to go ahead and put it on. Yo guys, take a look at this. So this is what I have on uh, before the shoulders. This is the new shoulders. Yo, that's beautiful on a dwarf. I feel like that would be ugly on every other race, but on my dwarf with these glasses, that's actually pretty freaking gorgeous. It's actually sophisticated looking. I like that, dude. So we actually got two upgrades for this character in this video. And uh, overall, you know what? The build is uh, middle of the pack. But you know what? It's fun. It's thematic. It's arcane. It's marksman hunter. And it's on a dwarf with a gun. And I really, really enjoyed it. Guys, I think I just want to go ahead and do the giveaway for this video now. And uh, we'll see who wins a little supporters pack. Oh, and by the way, I'll be doing another giveaway in this video as well. So like the video, leave a comment. And in that comment, give me your in-game name on the Alar server. And uh, I'll random it off in the next ascension video and you might win something as well okay guys got the link from the last video let's go ahead and see who wins this is going to be for a necromancer supporters pack probably five to a thousand gold something like that uh, okay let's see pick a winner jimmy ron can we solo two dads mcdoubles 2022 yeah dude i feel so lucky every time somebody has a troll name his name is baby come back on alar all right, man, GG. You have won. Let's go ahead and get this set to you. Baby, come back. Death Speaker Supporters Chest. Okay, even better than a Necromancer's. GG, man. I hope you enjoyed 
watching me solo two dads. Love, McDoubles. There you go, buddy. GG. Holy crap, Psycholi. I think that's how you say that name, man. He gave me eight auras of XP with just a have fun and XD. Yo, dude, I don't even have to give this away. Because I'm very honest, when you guys say only give it away, I don't use it. Oh my god, bro, that's so many characters. I appreciate that, man. Thank you. But, okay, guys, if you enjoyed that video, make sure to give it a like and to subscribe. Arcane Gunslinger, it's really interesting. It's very, very middle of the pack. Maybe uh, if it gets fixed with whatever's wrong with it, it'll get even better. Obviously, with more gear, uh, you will scale even better and it will perform even more. But we were doing like 7k DPS on a single target dummy. I'm actually pretty happy with that so far. And uh, yeah, who knows what we'll do in the next video. But anyway, guys, like and sub. We'll see you in the next one. McDoubles out.